What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Seahawks Central Sports. We hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving weekend, but it's time to get back into the action. I'm Peyton Goodwin. And I'm Betsy Aguirre, and you're right, Peyton. While students were enjoying a couple days off from school, our UNCW athletes are doing nothing less than giving their all over break. As you guys can see over at Seahawks Central Sports, we're a little more than ready for the holiday break. Nice sweater, by the way, Pay. Oh, thanks, Bets. I'm all lit up. I was about to ask if I could borrow yours for an ugly Christmas sweater contest. Um, I was actually giving you a compliment, but okay. Let's just take it back to our all-star athletes. Well, men's basketball took a trip to Savannah, Georgia over the holiday weekend for the Savannah Invitational. In their first game against Loyola, the Seahawks got crushed with Loyola winning at 102 to 78. Senior Jordan Talley led the Seahawks with 20 points, while redshirt sophomore guard Ty Taylor shot a solid 14 points, as well as junior forward Devontae Kaycock with 10 points. In their second game of the tournament, the Seahawks ultimately fell short 9 points to Valparaiso in the finale due to what head coach McGrath says were too many second half free throws. Jordan Talley and Ty Taylor both had a solid 13 points each, with this game also being his fourth double-double of the season. Devontae Kaycock put in 12 points and 10 rebounds. Newcomer freshman guard J.S. Dime scored a career-high 10 points in the game, and senior forward Marcus Bryan put in 8 points and 10 rebounds on his 23rd birthday. Tyler was also named in the all-tournament team thanks to his overall 33 points and 9 assists over the two-day stretch. Tally, Kaycock, and Taylor have been standouts in this early season, but the Hawks have some Cinderella stories coming off the bench. Reporter Sarah Tamer has more on senior Nick Powell and his role as a walk-on. Mid-major universities like UNCW have had some Cinderella stories in the past. I mean, come on, Chris Fleming's making it to the G League draft, Jackie Brown walking on at 5'8", and of course, Nick Powell. I didn't try out, so I, I came in, no, I came in um, on the team. Okay, so maybe it's not the Cinderella story we had hoped, but he is making a splash early on in his senior year season, getting actions in game versus Campbell and NC Wesley and breaking his collegiate career high of eight points. He's bringing leadership that can only be found in a veteran player. This being my fourth year, I feel like I have a lot of experience, you know, with me and the other seniors, Tally and uh, Marquis, and now I'm in a position where I feel like I can actually contribute, and, you know, that's what I'm trying to do in my role is kind of shift as one of the veterans on the team, you know, to be an example for the younger guys and, you know, really set my own expectation for myself higher than I have in years past. Catch Nick and the rest of the guys over the break at UNCG on the 13th and then at home against Furman on the 17th. For Seahawks Central Sports, this is Sarah Tamer. Back to you guys in studio. Your UNCW women's swimming and diving team won their third straight Patriot Invitational title. Standout junior Megan Johnson led the Seahawks with a pair of wins last Friday in the 400 meter. She won a time of 4 minutes, 22.57 seconds, and with another winning time of 2 minutes, 15.36 seconds in the 200 breaststroke. Johnson was also named Co-Swimmer of the Week by the Colonial Athletic Association. Congratulations to Megan Johnson and the rest of the lady swimmers. Taking it from the pool to the fields, men's soccer had quite the finish to their season. Reporter Neil Lewis is in the studio with more. The UNCW men's soccer season was extended into the postseason with the Hawks going to the second round of the NCAA tournament. The team traveled to Cary, North Carolina before the break to take on number three ranked Tar Heels. UNC led by two goals until senior forward Julio Mancada scored the goal for the Seahawks in the 74th minute. Hard fought loss, but Seahawk Nation is still proud. Congratulations to Julio Mancada and the rest of the Seahawks men's soccer team on a great season and the best of luck next year. Peyton, Betsy, back to you guys. It looks like that's all we have for you here at Seahawks Central Sports. Remember to keep up with our Twitter at TealTV underscore sports for all your UNCW sports updates. I'm Peyton Goodwin. And I'm Betsy Aguirre. Remember to keep checking for our latest videos at Facebook and YouTube at UNCW Teal TV. Until next year, Seahawks, remember to be real and keep it teal. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays! And Happy New Year. Loyola, Loyola, <laughs> Loyola, God, Loyola, 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 God, Loyola, 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 there we go, Loyola, 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 yeah all of you. See, she did it. She did it too. Screw you guys. Screw you guys. 